In this video, we're going to explore some Photoshop layer tips and tricks that you probably should know. Some of these tricks I've already talked about in some of my tips and tricks videos and in my step-by-step -step tutorials, but you definitely have to stick around because some of them you probably didn't know. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So here in the magic world of Photoshop, I actually chose this particular files because it has a lot of layers that we can use for this particular experiment because there are a lot of things that I need to explain to you. But we obviously have to start with the very basics. So let's start with the basics. That is how to create or add a very new layer to your layers. It is very simple. Photoshop has already created this particular create a new layer over here. So when you click on it, it creates a new layer for you. If you don't want to use that, you can actually use the shortcut, which makes life so easier. So you can press control or command shift and then N and it's going to create this particular new layer for you still on the basics you can easily duplicate your layers by dragging and dropping it over here this particular new one and it's going to duplicate that for you but you have to just make sure that you don't drop it to this particular trash here because it is going to mess it up for you or you can as well use the shortcut ctrl plus j or once you have your layer selected it can be very easy for you if you hold alt and then you drag it over here it creates a new or a duplicated layer for you moving on onto the next tip is how you easily merge your layers so i have these three particular layers over here this works pretty fine when you are using different types of shapes and then you want to merge them so basically you realize that if you want to apply the same or you if you want to change the colors you have to change these ones into but you can select all of these ones i'm going to show you this trick you hold shift and then you select all of them and then you can press ctrl e to merge it together and then now if i want to apply the same color to this one see how it goes it is very simple and pretty smart back to this particular file now you have all your layers here you have like a bunch of layers but then you want to merge all of this deriving the idea from that particular merge that we just did you can actually merge all of this and at the same time keep all your layers without having to go to layer and then you flatten the image you can actually flatten the image like this to make it like just an image but then if you don't want to do it that way all that you have to do is you bring your keza on top here to the very top so all that you're going to do is going to hold alt or option control or command and then shift and then you're going to press e now what this is going to do is it is going to group or merge all of the layers to one particular layer to become just like a jpeg and anything that you're going to apply to this particular layer is just going to affect that one so let's try to let's say increase the saturation over here you realize that it affects this particular only now when you turn this one off you realize that you have the rest of your layers as well so you can merge all of these layers and then you can apply some adjustment to them before you export it and then when you even delete it you still have all your layers back next off if you have just this kingdom over here one thing that you can do is you can actually select that particular layer only so when you hold control or command and then you left click it is going to make a selection of the kingdom only and then you realize that in my explanation on selections anything that you just apply to this particular thing right now it is going to affect only the selected part and not the other parts if you have layers around you can easily move them up or down by using control and then the square bracket so you can easily move them up or down like this now it even becomes more useful when you add shift to it so when you add shift you realize that it automatically sends your layer to the very top and then control plus shift plus the left square bracket is going to just send your particular layer straight to the bottom now a bonus tip if you hold control plus full stop it is going to select the very top of your layer the very first layer that you have and then if you hold the same alt plus comma it is going to select the very last layer that you have 
moving on to the next tip i've already talked about this particular tip so many times if you have effects applied on a particular layer you can easily copy them onto another layer in two different ways it is very simple the first one is you can right click on the layer you go over here to copy layer styles let's choose this particular doors open at six and then you right click on it and then you can paste the layer style now you realize that it affected it over here that's why it is gone let me undo it and then you realize it is back if you want to save yourself the stress you can easily use this particular approach which is quite simple so you have your effect over here you hold alt and then you can drag it onto the next layer and then you realize that it has also affected this particular layer over there now by default almost all photoshop layers have these small thumbnails but what if i tell you that you can actually increase the size when you click on any of the layers and then you right click on the thumbnail you have this no thumbnail small and all these things here you can choose to make it medium like this or you can choose to make it large very large and huge like that and then you can actually give it some more space if you want to create some more space for it that is when you are using the large ones but i feel the large ones are so big what do you think let me just go back and make this small so we can move on to the next one so you can easily change your layer thumbnails let me quickly add it up that you can as well change your layer colors that is going to actually help us to explain the next tip that i'm going to give you so for any of the layers that you select when you right click and come to this portion you're going to have some sort of colors that you can use it helps you to quickly identify which is which layer especially when you have like a bunch of them so you can select any of them arrange for this one and let's give this particular one let's say red and give this one something like blue now i'm going to use this particular one to explain the next set of trick which most people don't use this new tip is one of the few features that most people don't really use in photoshop including myself now this is the advanced layer search if you come over here we have the kind name effect mode attributes and color when was the last time you actually used this now the kind actually groups everything together and you can actually select it over here let me just go over the other ones and then i'll come back to these ones now the first one is the name so you can actually search for a particular thing let's say i have like a bunch of layers and i want to find just overflow so i'm just going to type overflow and this comes up now i want to delete this one and type something like rectangle it is going to show me all the layers with rectangles pretty much simple and a super advanced kind of feature that we often overlook so you can do this basically for any other thing if you remember or if you recall the name you can just actually search it let's say something like ninth over here and it's going to bring me this particular one the next thing even makes it more simpler if you choose the effect over here it gives you all the effects in the blending options so you can actually choose the kind of effect that you want so let me go for stroke over here nothing with stroke let me go for inner shadow nothing satin and overlay here so it brings up that particular layer with the overlay effect now if you go ahead and you choose something like the outer glow nothing and then the drop shadow i think the overlay was the only thing that i used in this particular design but then if you have something like bevel and emboss and all those effects attached to a layer you can easily use this effect to search it effectively now the next thing is the mode if you have your blending mode the overlays and all those things you can easily search with the mode soft light and then the the normals and all those things you can easily use the mode now the next thing is the attributes over here attributes basically implies those that are visible so when you click on this one you realize all those that are logged those that are not logged so if you check this one this is the only layer that is logged in my particular project so you can choose this ones and you can choose all those that are visible those that are not visible as well this is the only layer and you can use that quickly to search for all these layers now the next thing that is so much interesting is the color 
so like we added some colors to some layers over here where are they okay so this one are uh, the none so when you choose something like the orange i think i added an orange you're going to have this particular orange and when you choose any of the other colors red it is going to bring you all the layers with red this is a super advanced layer search that i doubt most of you use now back to the kind you can as well use this one when you place your cursor on it it can easily give it to you or give the name to you this is the pixel layer so when you click on it it is going to give you all the layers with images now when you click on this particular one it is going to give you all the layers with adjustment layers like that and then when you click on this one it is going to give you only test so if you want to quickly work on your test you can easily choose this particular one right over here so that you can easily work on your test this particular one also gives you all the shapes and it excludes all the other ones and this one right over here gives you all the smart objects so you can pretty much use this to easily work on your layers now the next tip that i'm going to talk about is selecting layers if you're having like multiple of layers like this selecting a particular layer may be very difficult so you can employ the strategy of using the control plus select to quickly navigate to a particular layer like this so you realize that i was here and then i hold control and then i left click on this particular layer and it automatically takes me there you can as well hold control and select multiple layers like this in case you want to group them or you want to merge them or you want to duplicate or apply like a couple of effects on it you can as well select that but if you want to save yourself time you can just select this one and then you hold shift and then you can select through to the other ones as well this tip right over here is very very powerful assuming you want to just check just this image without any of the other images at the back or any of the tests or any of these ones all that you have to do is you bring your cursor onto this eye over here and then you hold alt and then you left click it is going to hide all the other layers in the document and then you can only see this particular layer and then when you hold alt and you left click again voila it is back now when you are so busy working on projects in photoshop you hardly name them true or false i know this is very true because i'm a victim i'm going to show you this tip on how to easily rename your layers once you are done with everything and then you can actually have time to rename them so when you double click over here it is going to select the rename here and then you can give this one a name like one now once you're done with that the next thing that you can do is you can select the next one and then you give the name but then this simple trick by using the tab key is going to give you this simple transitions from layer to layer and then you can easily rename all of these ones so on the tab key it is going to move to the next one it's quite unfortunate though that it can't move upwards it's only downward so you click on the tab key and then it moves to the next one and then you can easily rename them as well i want to touch on grouping layers it's super helpful if you have a couple of layers you can just select all of them like this one and then you can press ctrl g to group them i know i use them a lot in my videos so you might be aware of this particular one the next step is actually using the layer adjustment instead of using the actual effect so i have my image over here you realize that if i press something like ctrl plus m it is going to activate the curves for me and then i can actually apply some curves over here now note that this is actually going to apply to just the image only and when you work on like 10 20 times in photoshop you wouldn't get the access to undo 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 so instead i can actually come into the layer just went here and i can add the caps from this side so i can brighten it up and then with the help of the clip masking i can clip it to this particular layer only so when i open it up you realize that it directly affects this particular layer only it is a simple feature and a very nice one to use if you just don't want it all that you need to do is you delete it and then you're good to go wrapping it up on today's video is the ability to quickly change the opacity so you realize that if you place your cursor over here you can change your opacity 
or the opacity of your layers you can actually input in the figures as well but to give you or to save you time once you select a layer you can just use your numeric keys to adjust the opacity so when you press one it is going to set it to 10 20 30 and then you can set to 20 three like that when you press two numbers at the same time it is going to set it to that particular number that you did so let's open this one to 100 percent so that will be pretty much it for this video some layer tips and tricks that you actually needed to know let me know in the comment section which ones you already knew and which ones you just got to know and which ones you know that i didn't talk about that we all can tap something from Eight. thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you want more tips and tricks videos like this your feedback helps a lot in making the right decisions for this particular channel all right so thank you once again and i'll see you in the next one it's innocent here and bye